This is a paper video about our paper in the DCAT 2020 workshop, during training of guided learning and main teacher for sound event detection. I am Bing Reiku. So in this video, I will first introduce our model architecture and the two different kinds of attention pooling methods, the embedding level pooling and the instance level pooling, which is an important part in our paper. Okay, next, since our training method is based on guiding learning and main teacher, we will give a brief introduction to them. Finally, we will introduce our training process, the GL MT training process, and the adaptive media window in details. And we will show our experiment results. Okay, so this picture is just the overall architecture of our model. Uh, you can see it consists of a CNN front end and several scholars and uh, the attention polymath modules. And here is the detailed structure of our CNN front end, which is basically some two dimensional convolution layers and max pooling layers. Okay, so this CNN front end will convert the input mouse programs into high level representations. And here is the structures of the event based scholars and frame based scholar. The former is a simply a a fully kinetic layer and the latter is a bias TN layer plus a fully kinetic layer. The outputs of both scholars then will pass a sigmoid layer, and so the final scores are between 0 and 1. So next we will introduce two, two different ways to get the clip level event scores. Uh, and so it, uh, this is a uh, the embedding level attention pooling and the instance level attention pooling. Basically, the embedding level pooling means we first compute the attention weights on the frame level representation for each event, and according to these attention weights, we do weighted sum to get an event wise clip level representation. This process is called the embedding level attention pooling. Next, for each event, we pass its representation into an event based scholar and get the clip level probability. Now, the event based scholars are, independ are independent between each other. Namely, we will have 10 scholars if there are 10 events to be identified. The other way to get the clip level probabilities will compute the frame-wise representations, uh, uh, frame-wise probability for each event. After we have the frame-wise probabilities, we then compute attention weights on each frame score and do weighted sum on them to get the clip level probabilities. So this process is called the instance level attention pooling. In the original paper of uh, uh, in the original paper of guided learning, the embedding level pooling is adapted, while the official main teacher baseline utilizes the instance level pooling process. So next, we will move on to the intro introduction to them. So here is the introduction of guided learning. In this picture, uh, you can see the system comprised of two models: a professional teacher model, PT model and a promising student model, PS model. Each of the models use a similar structure, but with a different number of CN layers. With the material model, it is considered to be better designed than the student model on the, on the audio taking process, uh, with larger sequential sampling size. This is because that the larger sequential sampling size allows the CN front end of the PT model to have a larger receptive field and get better contextual information. On the other hand, the PS model is designed with smaller sequential sampling size to see finer information and then achieves better frame level prediction. And I believe many of us have known the main teacher system already because it is a classic semi supervised learning technique. Its idea is similar to the guided learning algorithm, but instead of constructing a new teacher model like guided learning, Mean teacher simply use the exponential moving average of the student model to construct the teacher model. The main idea is to let the student learn from the predictions generated by the teacher model, but we don't need to need we don't need really need to train train a teacher model. Okay, so now we pro we propose our joint training methods, namely the GL anti learning algorithm. GLMT stands for guided learning and main teacher. So, so okay. 
So first, we pretrain the CNN front end of PS model using guided learning algorithm. Uh, to, be, to be more specific, we use the front end of the PS model as our, ini our initial CNN front end for step two. Uh, after the CNN is well trained enough, we apply it to the Mintager model, where a RNN layer is added on top of the CNN front end. We argue that the last layer output of the CNN front end can be an informative representation, and by Mintager training, we could utilize the strong label data to train the frame level prediction directly. So this is why the accuracy of both sides will improve. And, and then this tag, median window, is commonly adopted to smooth the frame level predictions. Instead of using the fixed size of uh, uh, using one single window for every class, we design specific windows for each frame by taking into account the, the average duration of each class category in the dataset. In particular, we found that when window size is about one third of the, the average duration, we can get the best results. So here is the table of our experiment results. In our experiment, the DEV set, the DEV, the DEV set represents the, the official development set, and the EVL set uh, uh, is the official public evaluation evaluation set re released last year. All the files are first converted into a mass reference with 128 di dimension, and then fed into the model directly. We only add the Gaussian noise as the data augmentation method. The orange guided learning based system is named GLPS, uh, which used the promising student model as the final detector. And our approach of combining guided learning and mean teacher are named GLMT, and there are three models to be uh, to be identified. The GLMT PS means the GLMT promising student model. Uh, on the guided learning side, GLMTMS means the uh, mean student model on the mean teacher side. Uh, GLMTEMA means the, the it, it expo exponential moving average of the uh, mean student model, and this is the teacher teacher model in the M mean teacher side. Okay, so okay. So you can see in tab 2, uh, under the fixed window size smoothing, the GLMTMS model indeed has a better performance compared to the GLPS model here. Okay, and in tab 3, we can see that adaptive median window enhances the performance of every model largely, and, on, and our approach still performs better than GLPS model. Okay, so in conclusion, we utilize a CNN based front end with different pooling models and scholars, including embedding level attention pooling with event based scholars and frame based scholars with instance level attention pooling. We combine guided learning and mean teacher methods to carry out weekly supervised and semi supervised learning. It is confirmed that joint guided learning and mean teacher training is superior to the respective single training methods. In addition, we adopt a dative median window for post-processing here. And the experience shows that le uh, a dative median window can produce more accurate event boundary than fixed size median windows. Uh, finally, we want to discuss about some future work. In the decade 2020 challenge this time, we didn't use the fusion method to output, lo to out to output the testing results. We believe that if we do so, uh, maybe we can generate eight different models with different parameter hyperparameters, and we could, and we, we would have better performance on the testing set. In addition, some data augmentation method can be applied in our training process too, like the spec augment or mix up. Uh, we could also use our training process over on different models, like replace the RNN layer by a transformer encoder. So okay, this is the this is the end of our paper video, and thanks for watching.